There's a world beneath our feet, hidden in the shadows, where power is not measured by swords or thrones, but by a delicate balance of biology and control. A world where rulers never raise a hand, yet their subjects are bound by an invisible force, working tirelessly, all for the survival of a kingdom. It's a kingdom unlike any you've seen, a realm that thrives underground, in tunnels and chambers where sunlight never reaches. Today, we're going to uncover the secrets of these mysterious rulers. This is how termite kings and queens control their kingdoms. Deep beneath the soil, in the bustling heart of their empire, lives the queen. She is the powerhouse of the kingdom. Not through physical might, but through sheer reproductive ability. The termite queen is often one of the largest of her kind. Her body designed for one purpose, to lay eggs. In fact, She's the mother of all life in the colony, capable of producing thousands of eggs every single day, all of them destined to become workers, soldiers, or future queens and kings. She is the beating heart of this subterranean world. Without her, the colony would cease to exist. But her counterpart, the termite king, is just as essential. Unlike the queen, the king doesn't lay eggs, but he plays a pivotal role. The two monarchs are bound in a union of mutual necessity. He mates with her, ensuring that her eggs are fertilized and that the kingdom's future is secured. Now, here's where it gets fascinating. The queen, though silent and still, commands a kingdom that stretches for miles. How? Not with a voice, not with a crown, but with a chemical message. A signal so powerful that it controls everything in the colony. These signals are called pheromones. The queen releases these pheromones throughout the entire colony. It's like a hidden code, a language of chemicals that only termites understand. They tell the workers what to do, guide the soldiers to defend their kingdom, and even determine when it's time for the next generation to emerge. It's a perfect system. No force, no violence, just the quiet power of chemistry. But what about the king? You may be wondering why he's not the center of attention. After all, he is the second ruler of this kingdom. The king's primary job is simple yet profound. He mates with the queen, ensuring that her eggs are fertilized and that the genetic lineage of the colony is maintained. Theirs is a symbiotic relationship and their bond is the backbone of the colony's success. But what makes this kingdom even more astonishing is the workers. These tireless laborers don't get the glory, but they are the ones who build the kingdom. Without the workers, the entire system would collapse. They are the silent soldiers, the unsung heroes of the empire. Their life's work is to support the queen, and they do so without question, living to serve the kingdom. And then there are the soldiers, Massive, strong, and built for defense. These creatures are the army of the colony, tasked with protecting the queen and the king at all costs. But their loyalty comes with a twist. Their very existence is tied to the kingdom's need for protection. Without predators or threats, their role might seem unnecessary. But when danger strikes, they are ready to lay down their lives. 
But what happens when the monarchs are no longer there to guide their kingdom? The death of the queen or the king is a critical blow to the colony. When the queen dies, the workers may attempt to raise a new queen, but the balance is lost. The kingdom slowly unravels and the once thriving empire falls into disarray. It's a stark reminder that the termite monarchy is built on delicate harmony. And without the queen and king, the whole system collapses. And so the termite kingdom continues its endless cycle. Life, death, and rebirth all beneath the surface. It is a world where rulers reign, not through strength, but through subtlety and cooperation. A world where control is maintained through the invisible power of chemistry, where loyalty is absolute, and where every creature plays a part in the survival of the empire. Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question one. What is the queen termite's main role in the colony? And the answer is C. The queen's primary role is reproduction ensuring the colony's growth and survival. Question two, how do termite monarchs maintain control over their colony? And the answer is B. The queen uses pheromones to maintain control and organize the colony's behavior. Question three, what is the main role of the termite king? And the answer is C. The king's role is to fertilize the queen's eggs and support the colony's future. Great job! If you got all three questions correct, if you missed one, don't worry. Now you know more about this fascinating creature. That's a wrap for today's trivia time. We hope you enjoyed diving into these fascinating facts. And remember, every day, is a new opportunity to learn something extraordinary. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.